Hello everyone, the stream is now actually starting, now that I've figured out what the hell is going on with OBS. I think I can actually use it like normal now. I don't have to... I don't have to be worried. Oh my gosh, I've been so frustrated trying to figure out why it's not working, and... Oh... Well, I found... I, I have successfully discovered the issue. The issue is between chair and keyboard. Cool. Well, at least that means that if I'm the problem, I can fix myself. <laughs> That's easier than trying to fix a program I have no control over. Uh. So. Quick recap. I'm level 82 now. I've leveled up a few times off camera. Uh, have I done anything interesting? Uh... I have gotten a Zoff's Heart, so I now have nearby enemies recovered in Ash, which is nice. Uh, I just added... Um, I added some Eater of Worlds implicits to some stuff, just because I got some stuff to drop. I don't think I've done anything else besides that. I'm slowly working on getting a uh, anointment for this, which will be a huge deal. When I actually get to it. Because I'm at 356 strength right now. If I get 44 more strength, I can get the tri the chance to deal triple damage from the Magnate. Which is going to be very nice. So I'm going to push for that. At some point I also just like threw on some random uh, instilling instil orbs on these ones to just check them out. So these also do something. But I think that was their last stream too. Uh, I completed a few maps off camera, and in the process of doing that, I now have access to Huck, who has an anger aura, so whenever he's around, I'll deal extra damage. I'm about to have Einhar stays after you after the mission, so I'll have him for extra health. Uh, as for points, uh, the uh, four points I got off screen went into the strength. Life and Iron Wheel nodes. So, this is just me finishing up the build, really. And after this point, a lot of it is either... I'm going to be going for Firewalker. I'm going to be going for Constitution first. Then I'm going to be going for Firewalker. And I think after that point, it is all clusters. Cluster duels. So, and that's basically everything that's going on. Uh, I'm still at uh, two out of four uh, a set, a quests for the Warden. I have yet to figure out how to finish the next quest. Uh, I'm going to try to go somewhere where I can show you what the quest is. That I'm working on. So I'm currently working on the Find and Defeat Three Diseased Sacred Trees that seek to bring about an early winter. I don't know anything about that. Oh. Big lag spike. Huge lag spike. Okay, good. Have to wait for OBS every once in a while to make sure that it's actually okay with what's going on, otherwise the recording will fuck up. What is... Oh my gosh! I actually... I literally... I've been looking for these guys for so long! This is the quest! Oh my gosh! I've entered like 50 of these looking for these guys, and I finally get it the very first one I go on stream just to demonstrate the quest. Oh my gosh! That's so fucking convenient! What the hell? That's awesome! Okay, so now I can actually demonstrate what the fourth quest is? Or third quest for the four fourth set of sentency points, I should say. Uh, can I go this? Nope, that's purple. Where's the closest yellow? I want to find Warden. Yellow. 
Mm. Yellow. Little bits of yellow, not much. Oh. Uh, okay, this is just a reward area. I don't actually need this. Not very useful to me, come to think of it. I might have to just go to a different uh, version of the forest to find the warden this time, but whatever. More yellow over here. Warden? Ooh. Warden? If I got a warden right now, that would be so convenient. I mean, this is already, like, stupid convenient, but hey, this would be even more stupid convenient. Ah. Well, whatever. <laughs> eh. Elk. Okay. Fine. I will just go into a map to do that. But that's awesome! Okay, so that was... <laughs> that was the challenging quest I have yet to be able to figure out how to fix. And it just is done for me suddenly. That's so nice. <laughs> Fuck, what am I going to do now? That was, like, one of the main things I wanted to hunt for this stream. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to go do some Tier 7s. As high as I've gotten so far. Fritz. Can't regen. Okay, can't do that. Can't regen, can't do it. Okay, that should be fine. Relic Chambers. And immediately into the forest. Now, I need to find yellow for wardens. Purple. Lots of blue. Oh, there's a blue uh, reward area right here. Yep, there it is. I think. Yes, right here. Ooh, big blue reward area. So for, there's not too many burrowers here. Oh, no burrowers. That's pretty nice. Usually it's just like covered in rare burrowers that are just out for blood. This is one's not looking good for vivid for yellow. Nope. No, thank you. Well, okay. Well, I found the Breaker of Oaths. Not who I wanted to see, but still, whatever. What? Oh, they're the Warlock of the Mist. That's who they are. I don't want that. Okay, I can buy corpses. I don't know if any of these are really worth buying. I mean, I guess it's better than doing nothing. Okay, well, whatever. Cool. Out we go. We'll just do a different Wildwood for our Warden. I don't mind. Some ways I kind of wish you could specialize into a particular type, where, like, you're more likely to find that type. of, like, that, like, a particular color. Like, you're more likely to find a warden, you're more likely to find, um... Or you're more likely to find vivid yellow wisps, and therefore you're more likely to find a warden kind of thing. Or you're more likely to find purple wisps, so you're more likely to find a primalist. Like, whatever 
whatever equates to it. Because you can specialize into certain mechanics in, like, the Atlas Passive Tree, so it'd be kind of nice if you could specialize into a particular version of the Wildwood. If it goes core, and I really hope it does, I think that's probably what's going to happen, is we're going to see stuff in the Atlas Passive Tree that allows you to specialize in it. Because there's not going to be a wall of wood inside the door of every area once it goes core, so you'll need some way to make it more targetable. Now for the annoying curse guy, who actually won't be much of a problem for me, come to think of it. Because I am curse immune when I am on my totems. I guess I'll just throw the corpses in my stash. It was weird that I went out and bought a bunch of corpses. <laughs> but I mean, I guess that's just how this works. <laughs> Can I, like, price check them? Oh. My price checker is not online. That is not a price checker. That is the wrong software. Try it again. Okay, price checker online. Oh, cool! We can actually check the prices of corpses now. Okay, so this is actually worth, like, three chaos. That's cool. Well, those probably all suck. Is this good? No. Those, like, basically all suck. Apparently. Are you worth anything? No. Are the meat sacks worth anything? The perfect meat sack is worth something. Okay, well, you can go in there, then. And I'm going to take the rest of you... And just, like, drop you on the floor here. Oh, wow, that actually lagged out my client doing that. Just, like, dropping corpses on the ground. <laughs> That's funny. The most taxing part of, of Path of Exile, when you stand in your hideout with a bunch of corpses surrounding you. Okay, just swapping some stuff around. Okay, that should make... Oh, yeah, that makes everything a lot smoother. Okay. I had to turn off the video from the stream. My computer does not do very well when it is recording, streaming, playing, and also watching the stream at the same time. I could really use a warden. Not getting... Oh! I was about to say I'm not getting lucky with yellow, but I see yellow. Yellow? Yellow? Warden? 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 Please, Warden? Don't give me a reward area. I don't care about rewards. I want a warden. The warden is my reward. It's my rewarden. No! Damn it! <laughs> my rewarden is gone. Well, fluff. Oh, well.
Man, I feel so much better actually understanding what's wrong with OBS now. It also explains why I was not able to find anything, like, bug-related with it, because it's not a bug. I should have been suspicious when I saw, an, like, a, a change to the interface and been like, hmm, I wonder if that's causing the problem. I just thought they updated it and, like, fucked everything up. Okay, take care of that one first, and take care of this other one. No, nope. don't wave me, please. There we go. Okay, I can get Einhar now with me. Whenever he actually is here. There are the rest of this map. I need XP, because I'm about to level. Why do I see a person on the map? Who's on the map? Oh, it's Cassia. I can do some tower defense. Hmm. Should I do the trial? I hate doing trials, but if offerings are still worth three chaos apiece, it's probably worth doing the trial. Offerings are worth, like, a ton of money right now, so. Actually, they're probably just going to, like, keep going up in price, too, or at least, like, stay at a fairly solid price, seeing as uh, this entire league is basically the Labyrinth League right now. Or at least until there's actually like a uh, upgrade to how the labyrinth works, then we'll have like a real labyrinth league. But for now, this is our pseudo labyrinth league. Eighty-three, yeah. Ah! Sawblade. Never. We're about to find out, was that worth the time? No, we're not. There's still more stuff to do. Okay, lover's over there. Now we find out if the offering is worth doing. Or that as trials worth doing for the offering, I should say. That was weird. Why didn't I free Oh, I got the the chance to avoid ailments on that. I was wondering why my freeze flash didn't trigger. I don't know what the point is of it telling me that I've completed the trials, because, I mean, they don't. there's no benefit to completing them anymore. Okay, they're worth about two and a half, two, two and a half chaos each. So that's actually kind of worth doing. And then I will take my constitution, bringing me up to 4,100 life. This is going to be a really tanky character. But well, that's kind of my intention. It's not just an accident. <laughs> okay. View down there. Not going to build towers yet, though. I want to know where the rest of the uh, 
portals are going to be before I invest. Yeah, because if I port, built portals, port towers down here, then that would have not covered this portal. Okay, where's the... Okay, yeah, so they're all the way back here. Okay. In that case... Lightning. Fire. Uh, I will take a cold, even though it's not that useful. Take an extra cold here. There's only one set that's immune to it, so I should be fine. Give me another fire. Actually, no, give me a seismic. That sounds great. Seismic's great. Nope. Click. Let me click. There we go. Uh, Syntrex and a quality flask. I'll take the quality flask. Okay, I should be good here. I don't know where I want to go now that I've gotten what I was looking for here. Actually tempted to go this to move some of this stuff over to go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that actually is more points going that way. But it would give me more chance to get IHAR missions. And I think I'm gonna be pretty decent with IHAR missions. This character is probably gonna be best, like really good for bossing, ideally. Or not ideally, but she will probably be good for bossing. All the new ultimatum stuff is here. Still have yet to see a single ultimatum encounter. Don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Oh. Bunch more ultimatum stuff. Haven't even looked at any of this yet. It'd probably be more important to look at it when we actually have ultimatum stuff popping up. Where... Where is, uh... Rogue stuff? No. Where is... I guess it'd be Smuggler's Cache we're looking for. Smuggle. I guess I could look up Heist, too. Okay, so I could go up here. The targets. We're here for specific things. And up here for blueprints, which I probably want to do ultimately. Hmm. Anything I want to cancel here? Nah. I'm not really going to be doing much for Abyss, so I might want to get rid of Abyss just because it's not use. It's not going to give me much. I don't like doing an expedition at all, so I'm gonna start working towards that. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of Breach because Breach requires moving my totems around. Legion is the same, it's not very effective for it, and I don't like expeditions, so I guess I'm going to start blocking things now. Reasonable way to deal with things. Alright, done all these. What's next? I should do some of the lower tier stuff too, because I have some really easy points that are just like sitting here that I could grab at any time.
Why not take all the easy points I can get? Okay, none of these are too scary. I don't really like the spell suppression, but... I'm also... It's also a tier 2, so I'm okay. <laughs> I'm in yellow maps now, effectively. I don't have enough yellow maps, but I am in yellow maps. Oh, right, yeah, can't... Oh! My first ultimatum! Speak of the trial. Uh, I'm busy. Hold on. Let me clear the area first before I bother with you, Trial Master. Okay. What do you want? Uh... Hmm. That's... That's not a very good jewel. Well, whatever. I'll still do it. I'll type for supply ruin with his special ability. No, I don't want that. I'll probably get hit a lot. Heavy physical damage over time. Probably can do that. Damage taken will slowly increase. Nope. I will take blood altar. Whoa. Okay. Find corrupting blood. I can I can take corrupting blood. Let's get some more chromes. Dump down some flame walls. Using sound great. Just get another blood ultra level. Also unaffected by curses. I'm not really using that right now. And I don't think anything can get reflected to me because I'm I'm using I'm totem build, so I'm gonna take that because I should be fine with that. I should be more or less immune to it. I say as I'm like automatically brain casting. Uh, <laughs> my brain is like automatically like you must cast curse now. <laughs> Ah, oh, Slitty Monster Speed, a Razor Dance, Blood Altar. I'll take another level of Blood Altar. So far, this ultimatum seeming pretty reasonable. What the hell is that giant thing? Uh, skulls will appear that spit fire if you remain near them. That sounds annoying. On return, that will use both of its allies and enemies with speed and powerful physical damage benefits. Causes enemies to take 10% of their maximum life and enter shield physical damage. I do have a lot of physical damage reduction. Let's take Razor Dance. Razor Dance seems to be like pretty weak as far as this all goes. At least against me. Wait, I can just... Can I just, like, hide over here? Just set myself up? Yeah, I can kind of just set up over here. Plus to aura gems and max frenzy charges. That's... I don't really want that, but... Buffs expire five times faster. I don't think that really matters. Take that. I'm still on the consecrated ground, so I'll be fine. Oh, more chaos. Monsters have plus to all resistances. Skulls will appear that spit fire if you're made near them. Uh, if I do this, I might have to move from my area. I'll just pick Razor Dance. I definitely got Razor Danced right there. But the Corrupted Blood did almost nothing because of my physical damage reduction, so... I'm good. Ooh. 
New Catalyst. Razor Dance 4. Hmm. No, oh, not not picking Drought. No, I need my Flash Charges. Okay, well, I'll take Razor Dance 4, because that seems to be, like, the weakest one against me at this current moment. Okay, keeping the Flame Wall up for the extra damage. I took the buffs expire faster, but my my arcane surge is basically permanently on. Oh, it's whenever my totems hit and they hit constantly. Right. Okay, that's why. Uh, players have less AOE and projectile speed. Oh no. That's that's fine. I think. Oh, is that actually a problem for me? No. Leave me alone. Ow. Cheating the system a little bit by hanging out on the outside of the ring. <laughs> Okay, this is starting to get dicey, though, so I'm probably going to end right here, yeah. Uh, oh, this is the last wave. What? I don't know, does, I don't know if there's really much benefit to trying to finish the last wave. I already have so many rewards, there's no... I don't, you know what, I'm gonna get another chance to hit 10, I'm sure I'm gonna be fine. Give me all this shit, I, I want all the rewards, fuck up all, everything else. That was a really lucrative ultimatum. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but it seems like Ultimatum is balanced better just based on this one encounter. I remember Ultimatum being, like, crushingly hard before. But this is also a Tier 2, so... I'm not exactly in the most challenging of areas. Aha! You. I saw you earlier. Now you die. Why am I perma-blinded? They must have blind on hit. Yeah, they definitely do. Oh well. Laboratory is a really long map. What I am noticing. Fine, I'll just go back to the portal this time. i skip a little bit. Oh. Wildwood! Um... I see no wisps. Okay, well that's purple, which means I don't want to be here. <laughs> random stuff, random stuff... That is actually worth something... The perfect pain artist, okay. I will go back with some stuff. So I can pick that up. It's really nice being on the price check things while they're in the uh the interface without having to even pay like buy it first. Ooh. Blue? Blue. I like blue. I hate purple. I hate chaos damage. You know, I predicted that we probably were going to, like, have a lot of chaos damage in this league. And you know what? I was right. Oh, what the fuck? Who's this? King of the Mist? Is is this the big endgame boss right there? That's not possible. He's way too weak for that. Uh, Goodbye? Okay. Well, that was the King of the Mists. That sounds like a, like a serious character, but... Uh, I guess not? 
I really hope I don't get to the ward and they're like, okay, next quest, you need to kill the King of the Mists. <laughs> I'll be a bit annoyed. <laughs> Yeah, he is very talkative. He talks like every time you get you uh, get booted out via the darkness. Uh, he always talks to you like "ah or "next time" or "rrr." <laughs> oh my gosh! I wish I don't even know if it's possible, but I would love it if someone could make a mod that changes his voice. It'll be like "rrr" pounces on you. <laughs> Oh, whoa. <laughs> Just like a really gruff ooh woo. <laughs> that would be so stupid. <sighs> Oop. And you are worth how much money? Probably three chaos, maybe two. You go here. We'll go here with my perfect meat sack. Oh no, scary. Run, you're so scary. <laughs> uh, okay, one chaos. Wow, the lag from loading into this area was enough to make the music skip. Sometimes you might see me just, like, stop what I'm doing at random. And usually what's happening is the uh, capture's overloading, and I'm just pausing to let it, uh, like, get used to what's going on. Or for whatever it's going on to stop. Okay, fourth part. Oh, and another beast. Where is Einhar? Oh, he is with me. Okay. I didn't see his buff on me. He must have been just out of range firing. I think he gets locked in place when uh, he attacks, so he'll go out of range pretty quickly if, like, you're just walking at a normal speed. Okay, lever. Uh, why? What's going on? No. Oh. One thing just didn't seem like it was taking any damage. Oh, this is really nice. I love... <laughs> I love, um... Uh, fractured mods that are already on identified bases. That's great. That means I can just look at them on the ground and I don't even have to pick them up. And goodbye. Oh, fuck. I want to go back. Is that a dendrobate? Yep, it's a dendrobate. There aren't many sets. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try it again. There aren't that many sentinel jackets, so it's either a dendro bait or probably nothing else, actually. Cool, that's that done. Next map. Okay, give me a warden this time. Oh. No. I, I saw I saw I was getting how wait. It tells you what the things do. Oh. Whoa. What is that? 
Oh, I accidentally killed the boss. Oops. <laughs> okay, so Wild Wisps give you give the empowered enemies damage reduction, additional projectiles, additional AoE, and more item rarity. So we want to avoid Wild if we can, because item rarity is usually bad, which is sounds a bit paradoxical, but item rarity is bad because it means that you get more rare gear, and the rare gear is usually not valuable. Okay, Primal Wisps. Damage reduction, more crit chance, more crit multi. Uh, ch additional chance to drop currency. Okay, so we probably want blue and yellow then, because I assume yellow is going to be quant. Uh, nope. Nope, don't want purple. Don't want purple in my monsters. No, there's some blue. A little bit. Morgon's Mystic Marvels Beyond the Rift. De oh, these are demon herders. Okay, so this is basically just there's beyond content in, in your, the Wildwood is what this is. Okay, just like there's shrines and all that. Oh, it's yet yeah, yet yeah, Katash, that's his name, the Hate Shepherd. Hi Shepherd. Goodbye, Shepherd. My fire's stronger than yours. It's flat. Oh, tainted chrome. Those are valuable, I think, maybe. Five chaos apiece. Nice. Uh, whetstones are not valuable. That's fine, because they're useful to have. Okay, can I grab some of this extra blue stuff for extra currency chance? Cool. So we'll get some extra currency chance. So anytime you see, like, the ones, the monsters in your map that are just, like, radiating blue wisps, kill them, because they have an extra chance at currency. You, they're, they're the ones you don't want to leave behind nearly as much as the others. Like, just a flat chance at currency is really good. Especially because basic currency items are very valuable, in general. Like... It might sound paradoxical, but basic currency can also be very expensive stuff. Like, a Mirror of Calandra is basic currency. A Exalted Orb, a Divine Orb, Chaos Orb, they're all basic currency because they're part of the base game. Tainted currency, not base. Catalyst, not base. Oils, not base. Um, that is fine. Ailment Reflection. Okay, well, actually, I can just stand in the middle here. Why not? Okay. Corrupted. Blocks attack spell damage. That's bad for me. Slock Ruin, no. Razor Dance. Okay, Razor Dance seems to be my freebie. Not a complete freebie, but still pretty damn good. That's really shitty. Still no damage for two seconds every eight seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hope Raging Dead doesn't cause issues for me. Race of Catalyst. Give me a Razor Dance. Throw some flame walls down, so my holy flame tones can blow through them. 14% gem. Okay, apparently lessened reach is actually really bad. Projectile speed is apparently important for this this build. Razor dance. I 
Essence of Torment. Using a flask hinders you for five seconds. By 50% for four seconds. Uh, sure. I'm going to take that over Razor Dance, because... I mean, Razor Dance, since it's at four, will get offered again. This one might not get offered again, and I might get worse options next time. Yeah. I'm fine being hindered. Mm, I'm starting to take... S oh, yeah, I'm starting to take some hits. I'm going to kill it off and grab my stuff. I'm just playing it safe. Unless I see, like, a fucking Divine Orb pop up, I don't really want to push it too much. I need Essences and Strong Boxes. God, Essences are worthless. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be sad if they removed Essences from the game completely. Either that, or they need to give, like, five or six times the amount of Essences every time they drop Essences, because they're next to useless. Because, it, oh, he has, oh, he has blue, he's currency on him. Oh, well, whatever, still currency. Um, But, like, even the valuable essences, let's say they're two chaos apiece, those are not going to be very, you're not going to make money by picking those up usually. Like, if there was five of them that would drop, that's ten chaos, that's actually a reasonable pickup. But, like, like, as you go up in the tiers, you start getting more and more and more essences per time. Rather than just, like, more different ones, like, you get, like, multiples of each different one. Which, because, it, like, it's really hard to craft with essences, because you go to a person, and if you're lucky, they'll sell two, maybe three to you. And everyone else, you're just like, I'll buy one from you, and I'll buy one from you, and I'll buy one from you. And it's like, no. If you need to do something, let's say, 30 times, which is a pretty low number for crafting... You might have to talk to up to 30 people just to get enough essences. Bad system. Offerings have increased effect on you. That's not very good. Need more than that. Here, yeah, that. Okay, am I done fields? Yes, I'm done fields. Next one. Crimson Township. Crimson Township's really easy to rush. Probably won't rush it too much, but... Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of... What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of City Square. City Square is really easy to rush. Yellow. Follow the yellow. Follow it. Good. Okay. Uh, yellow. So when a muscle is empowered by Vivid Wisp, yellow ones. Damage reduction, increased speed, more item quantity. Yep, yeah, okay. So blue and yellow are like the ideal uh, wisps that you want to follow for just like map quant. Yay, Warden! I've been looking for you! Let's decide you the most deadly cast. Find the King of the Mist? No! I just killed him! I was worried that was gonna happen! Okay, I'm gonna put those up. Uh, I'm gonna immediately grab... Um, hmm. That's actually really nice. Uh, I kind of want to try Detect Evil. Yes, I got my Rewarden. <laughs> I do want Tinctures, but I also want... Uh, I want to try this. Actually, wait. No, I want to know where the unique anim the unique enemies are. Because that'll help me get the last point, last uh, set of points if I can see them on my map. 
Whoa. Lag, lag, lag. Very bad lag. Whoa. Whoa. Hopefully that's just path and not the stream. Yellow. More yellow. Lots of yellow. Cool, now I can go back to the warden. Oh! Oh, so that's that's what they look like. Okay. I just saw the rare on the map for the first time. A little star. Okay, warden. What can I get from you? That'd be good. Lightning pen calling a strike. Not really worth anything. Onslaught on killing blow. Chance to stun on full life. In phasing. Chaos. Increased damage for non-instant spell you've cast in the past 8 seconds. That actually is kind of useful to me. None of these are amazing, though, in general. No, none of these are really have are really valuable at all. Nope, not at all. You know what? I'm actually not going to buy any at all. I'm going to instead just use all of my vivid wisps to empower monsters in the map. So just give me more quant in general. If I can't make, if I can't guarantee I'm gonna make money, then there's not really a point with going with the tinctures, because then I just have a bunch of tinctures in my inventory that I can't sell. And you can combine five of them to make a new one, but also if you look at, at my mini map right now, you can see an orange orange icon. That's a rare or a unique. In this case, unique. I really wish that they were differentiated. That's going to make it hard to tell whether something is unique or not on the map. Oh! No, I see a yellow one. That's a rare. Is this... Oh! Okay, so the orange ones... The orange ones are, uh, are uniques, and the yellow ones are rares. Okay, good. It does differentiate. That will help a lot with finding... More like Wildwood Abominations and uh, another King of the Mist. Okay, Elemental Weakness, Reflect. Reflect is fine, I'm a totem build. I think. I might kill myself right here. Nope, it's fine, I'm a totem build. It's pretty sure that totems were immune to Reflect. Or, well, okay, the totems take Reflect damage, but I don't take the Reflect damage. So it's really annoying, but it isn't, like, deadly to me, like it is usually when you have a reflect map. I just have to constantly keep resummoning them so that it doesn't they don't get completely shredded. Or not not so they don't get shredded, because they do get shredded. Ow. What was that explosion? That hurt. Mm -hmm. Yep, not a lot's good. If you see any of all side areas when you're playing yourself, always oh, it's always good to check what their modifiers are because you there might be an XP gain modifier. 
because you can get I think up to like a hundred or hundred and fifty percent extra XP uh, in a in a uh, vault side area potentially, but it has to roll it. So keep an eye out for that if one just like happens to naturally spawn. Because they do infrequently respawn like that too, so it's good for extra XP. Okay, drudgery. Oh, bit laggy. Fields. Oh yeah, corrupted blood does almost nothing to me. That's nice to see. Oh, is this the little chapel one? Yeah, this has this is a little chapel arena. What level is this? Oh, it's only a tier two. That's why he just got destroyed. Okay, where am I going? Uh, oh yeah, reach expedition legion. Okay. So it'll block those, and it'll also give me a 6% more chance to everything else, so that's good. It's always good to refine your chances there, because if you have this type of content you walk by, you should just block it so that you can get the extra chance to other content. Just more efficient that way, I find. Oh, that's a new one. Do you have anything for me, Girak? Nothing new, no. Okay, we'll do this one. We're going to try and bring an Einhar for extra help. Now that I have Einhar with me permanently. Okay. No, I don't want. I don't want purple. Oh, this must be a reward area right over here for blue. It's an awful lot of blue. Or maybe not. Blue. Um. Oh, a harvest area! What? Experimental harvest? What? This is cool. Please tell me I get crafts. That'd be really nice. Oh. I just get a few pieces of lice up at l lice? Life essence? Life essence. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Really not seeing any rares on the mini map in the Wildwood right now. Oh, I just had a dumb thought. I wonder if the uh, Detect Evil even works in the Wildwood. Like, all logic would dictate that it would have to, because it would be dumb if it didn't. But it also might not. Just because something's dumb or a bad idea does not mean that it's not happening. <laughs> Pillow of the Cage God. Leave that behind. I don't think I've done cemetery yet. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, I got two cemetery maps.
We have Devour? What is this called? Bell of the Deceiver, okay. And the Lori's Lantern. Is that a perfect Lori's Lantern? No, it is absolutely not. Also, the Deceiver is always good, though. Your enemies are intimidated. Your enemies are intimidated. Reduced crit crit damage from other things. Global cr physical damage. Strength. Max life. All res. There's nothing wrong with this belt. <laughs> What was I just about to check? Well, it's gone. Wait, I got 318? Oh, I thought this originally said 31. Okay, that's way more than I thought. Okay, no, that's actually like 5 chaos. That's, that's actually quite good. Oh, hello, innocence. Go away. Thankfully, the beast was not the god-touched one. Nope. I'm just gonna hang it over here. Nope. Not there, though. Observatory! I think I pretty sure I already have that one done. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Why am I? Why hurt my totem summoning? What's going on? I might just be really susceptible susceptible to chaos damage and just get eaten. That's as always possible. Oh, the mission completes for Einar. Thankfully, though, he's still with me. Oh yeah, and I got Hux, so I have, so I have Boon of the First Ones, Anger, and Combat ready. God, I love, I love having that stuff. I don't know which one to use real, but I don't care, because you're all just getting melted anyways. There you are. Okay, so just cemetery. I can help this. Don't need to be that worried. Man, I have to get a video out after this. I didn't manage to earlier because I was fucking around with OBS trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Ooh, blue. I like blue. Little primalist. Anything interesting? Okay. Damage taken from the totem, the attack speed when you kill rares, damage, or area damage. Or, yeah, more area damage. Only might hinder. All of these suck. I hope we don't have to actually level all of the uh, secondary sentences this league for like a challenge or something, because my build kind of de depends on me being a warden. Oh wow, that's big. Go away. I think I have to go this way. Where's my next blue? There's blue. Okay, more blue.
Okay, another experimental harvest. Nice. No, go away. Ah! Explosives. I always forget those things lay landmines. Yeah, I got 300, or, yeah, I got 300 yellow for that. That was really good. There is a lot of room for potential overlap between Wildwood and Harvest. Since Harvest also does the primal Wild Vivid combination. Ooh. Those primal wisps are... Primal? Yeah, I think it's primal. Yeah, the primal wisps are doing good. Got me a chaos orb there. That is a lot of fractured stuff. I'm not in a high tier enough map to bother with much fractured stuff, though. I mean, if you're gonna craft something, you're probably gonna want it want to fracture above item level 71. It's kind of useful being able to see where the rares are. Really liking this build. It does feel a little bit lackluster. It's not as like explosive as some of my past builds, but it's also just getting going too, so there is that. Ooh, vivid and primal empowered. Ooh, Nagnarod, good. I like Agnarod staffs. Okay, I'm done here. I will say, if you can reliably do ultimatum, it does seem to be more rewarding so far than uh, Metamorph was. So I, we do have a small benefit there, I've noticed. Um, you know what? Let's take a small break from mapping. We're starting to gather up a whole lot of contracts to do. Can't really get them out of my inventory otherwise, so... Okay, I'll do Niles first. Or, no, that's not Niles. He doesn't have a, he just wanted to say hi, because I'm here. Okay, I'll do Talina's first. I think she still has someone to introduce me to. And I love, I, I think also does. Oh, I need Perception Level 2 for that, and... The only one who can do perception level two is Karst. Uh, that's awkward. Mm 
Hmm. I do Isla first. Oh. Must talk to client before you do mission. Fair. <laughs> there. Okay, I'm sure I can find a perception level one mission to do. Okay. It can be weird being able to, like, actually single out the rares and, more importantly, the uniques in Heist. I don't know if it's, like, important or needed, but it is a thing I can do now. That's cool. So far, it is seem Detect Evil seeming pretty lackluster, though, I will say that. <laughs> Well, that's weird. Just I'll walk through these lasers, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why that's still a thing, but... Oh, ew, those are talismans. I'm not gonna get talismans of all things. That's a complete waste of time. <laughs> Ah, uh, another thing we need to have removed from the game. I genuinely would not... I genuinely would be happy if Essence, Rogue Exiles, and Talismans were all just removed from the game. I don't think they have any real value. You can just give most of the crafting that uh, essences have to either harvest or bestiary. Rogue exiles have no value, except for if you do the chaos recipe, and you can still just do that elsewhere. Elsewhere? Elsewhere. Another way. They never. I don't think they ever will remove rogue exiles, though, because they were like paid tiers of uh, rewards to get them added to the game, so I think that's just a bad feature that will always be part of the game. It'd be nice if they could just restrict them to only uh, being a bit of hologram masters, because then we could just ignore them forever. I don't know about y'all, but when I think of Rogue Exiles, I think of something a mechanic that gives no rewards and occasionally will insta-kill you. Very occasionally, but it still does it. Uh, who do I care about Brute Force on? Probably Tibbs, since he actually can level up past three. Rescue Happy Hap. Don't think... Don't think this is a rescue mission. I'll be honest, I don't think he's alive. People usually aren't when you go look for them in Heist. Tibbs. Tibbs. What are you doing, Tibbs? Hey, can you... So, I love Heist, I really do. But the NPCs are interesting. I don't actually know how much heisting I'm going to do this league, honestly, with uh, 
the, uh, wow, that was a huge, huge rubber band. I don't know how much heisting I'm actually going to do this league, seeing as they removed the most rewarding part of the heisting. And, like, for good reason. Like, I don't think that... I think the alt, the alt gem system was much worse than the uh, transfigured gem system. Much, much worse. Like, um, there was, like, very prohibitively expensive minute changes offered by the alternate uh, both but the alt qualities and even if it was like an important like notable change then that thing would just be so prohibitively expensive most people could never experience it so just kind of bad it was nice to like make money off of it but i don't think it was necessarily good for the game so yeah i'm just gonna have to see what they what they do because i don't know Yep, he's very dead. Yeah, I'll just have to see what they do. I think they just randomized the reward types. Of the blueprints, the so like a specific blueprint no longer has a specific reward type. It's now just a tile set. I think that's what they've done, and honestly, I prefer that. Ooh, let's get in here and kill that rare. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry, Wakano. I, I actually do really like Wakano. He seems like a good guy. I I do like his uh his banter with uh Faust the fence as well. Faustus. Because uh Wakano is native to the area and Faust is, Faustus is basically a, a colonist. And Faustus is like, "Oh no, like it's man, we made things so much better here." And Wakano's like, you murdered everyone. You murdered everyone. You do not make things better. You are just an asshole. It's nice to have less of, like, um... would be a good term for it. It's nice to see less Conqueror's Pride. Just, like, being proud of having taken over an area and having killed a bunch of people. Like, that's not a good thing. That is something to be ashamed of. It's nice to see, like, a character actively countering that. I think it's good and healthy, because it, it does mirror parts of our world, too, so... Follow herb. Eighty four. Second level up the stream. Ice can be good XP. 
Grab that. Oh, no, that wasn't, that didn't start it. Grab this. Cool. Grab the lockpicks. Open the door. What was that? That was a weird skill effect. I do love being able to just set up the totems and like stick them through the door. And then I can just stand on the other side while the everything unloads their prepared shots on the totems instead of me. There you go. Don't slow down. I'm literally, st I literally was standing still. Just like hanging out. <laughs> There's no reason to do this quickly except for just currency. <laughs> I'm not in danger. I really am not. This is only. Oh, actually, it's a. Uh, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So this is a tier 7. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't just be fucking around completely, but I don't feel like I'm in horrible danger or anything. No, Karst, you're gonna have to wait for me. I'm gonna make sure to murder everyone. Anyone else? Aha! Okay, I'm not going to do another run through. I'll just take it. The capture always lags every time I enter town. Even when I'm in just randomly in town, it, like the game starts lagging. Does not like, does not like any of the towns right now. And to be fair, the towns are really laggy as shit this update because of some of the changes they've made, so. Fair. Okay, so I need a perception level one. Militian, perception two, perception one. There we are. Do that so I can do Tolinos. Also, while I have the chance, what should I poi? Hmm. I guess I can pick up a jewel socket. I don't have any of those yet. I don't really need them for the most part, but it actually did not mean to go in immediately. Yes, I'm fine leaving. I can just walk right back in, unless I can't for some reason. Unless this is a diff different than every other heist. Okay, good, it's not. I'm sure I have random gems lying around. Oh yes, there we are. Totem life, strength, armor, totem resistances. Perfect. Thank you to the person who gifted me this jewel. You know who you are. Whoa. Man, town just is not happy anymore. It doesn't matter what town it is. Get the capture a second to pick up. Okay, good. Ah, uh, okay. I love this particular area because it spawns a ton of rats and it gives a bunch of extra things to kill for XP because of that. All these grates in the walls just give tons and tons of extra things to kill. This is the place I like to go for XP. 
the uh it, yeah, yeah, it is the laboratory. Just smush my face against the wall and things will come out of it. The wall, not my face. I don't want things to come out of my face ideally. Except words. Words are good. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. My mildly delirious, bizarre banter hopefully is entertaining. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the fo follow, Ariella VTuber. Thank you. Uh, doing much better now that you're here. <laughs> Things are going well. Thank you so much for following. We're almost at our follower goal now because of that. How are you? Did I get the... No, I didn't get the creatures over here. Uh, is there anything I want to pick up here? No, I can just pick up small chests. That's fine. Well, I'm, I'm genuinely interested in knowing. I, li I'll be I like being able to actually interact with my community. And hopefully you'll come back and be part of that. I'm mainly a Path of Exile channel. Uh, dungeon Crawlers, ARPG... Um, general RPGs, etc. Uh, I've been, I have branched out a little bit, and I've been doing some roguelike stuff, some top-down uh, ARPG stuff, uh, horde defense, so on. But I mainly do Path of Exile content, just because I like Path. I have a very large amount of time in this game, and it seems to do well on my channel, so. And I enjoy it. I should say that, because it, it, it's probably not obvious, but I do actually enjoy the content, so. Okay. How have your views been on Seven Days to Die? Because, and I mean by that, I mean, like, content views. Because I played Seven Days to Die a lot on this channel, and it never got me more than... 10 views per stream like when i posted the vods nor like only got me like a few people following or watching on twitch so i'm curious to know if you've had any better luck with that Ah, okay. How long? Uh, eight months, maybe? I'm gonna say? I think March. No, that seems... Maybe May be more accurate. May 2023. Slowly working on it. My focus is mainly on the YouTube channel. I do like Twitch, though, and I... Honestly, I love being able to interact with people. It's pretty fun being able to talk to people while I do things. Hello, Path of Exile! What the fuck? Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, the stream. Ah, uh, fluff.
Okay, YouTube. Well, it looks like the Twitch chat, the Twitch stream has dropped a little bit, but we're still here together. Just waiting on the uh, <laughs> just waiting on the internet to come back. Oh, cool. Okay, so the stream is actually back up again. Hello all again. Logging back in. Yeah, I honestly, I did figure that you were coming in here to advertise yourself. I was pretty aware of that. Uh, I, I'm a graphic designer, so you're not going to find any any work here with me. You're also not the first one who's come into the stream just purely to advertise themselves. And I don't mind if you just want to network about Twitch or YouTube, but... If you're just looking to get clients from me, that's not going to work. In general, I prefer people DM me quietly on Twitch if they want to talk to me about something like that. Okay, so that entire heist failed. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to find another perception. Assuming that I'm spelling perception right. I always do perception, even though it's perception. Darn, I need a level 1 perception, and that's deleted my perception contract. That's frustrating. No, no perceptions. Okay, I'm going to have to have these in my inventory for a while then now. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sucks. Okay, where should I head next? I don't want to block Harvest, and I don't want to really block Abyss. This is okay, and my character can deal well with that. Hmm. I'm tempted to go this way for June, but honestly, I've done June a lot. I'm getting kind of sick of her. I guess I'm going to start walking this way, because eventually I'm going to want to go get the commissioned officer and uh, uh, shadow shaping. Plus, head up here, grab Wrath of the Cosmos, baptize in fire. Oh, there's a lot of ultimatum stuff now. Probably get more Delirium stuff. I don't know how much Delirium I'm going to do this league. I think I want to change some stuff up. Go for some new things. I mean, I'll go into Ultimatum if it's actually reasonable. Like, if it's actually a reasonable, not shit system. Hmm. Probably can't do that one yet, because it's level 2. Precious Demolition, I'll do that one. Just looking for something off-stream right now. One second. 
Where... Where is my chat box function? Oh, widgets. Ah, oh, there you are. So I'm not that familiar with Streamlabs, so it's harder to uh, harder to use it. Okay. There it is. Okay. Get back to this. Demolition. I want to level up Huck a little bit. And it's also a precious one, so we'll get a uh, third tier heist reward. Whoa. My internet is very unhappy lately. Or, well, okay, I, I say lately. It's very unhappy right now. Whoa. Okay. There's just a mysterious not here person there. Sure. Really like it if some of this shit would go away. I wonder if I'm having inclement weather right now. That might be the problem. Mm. No, not so much. No, I have no idea what's going on. Oh well. Usually my internet's much better than this. I mean, those of you who are familiar with me already know that, but... I don't think there's any more major awards here. Yeah, there isn't. Okay, so it's just picking up these. Major award is going to be the thing at the end. I like the kind of like watchtower look that the Holy Flame Totems have. They look really cool. I think I beside the door really just realized that the door was open after it was opened. I think that's what just happened. Yeah, the guy that was right here was like, who goes there as soon as the door was opened after Hux stood there for like a good 20 seconds opening the door? You're a shit guard, my friend.
I'm actually kind of excited to try more ultimatum content. It seems like it could be fun now that it's... I think it's tuned better than it used to be now. Because during the league, it was tuned awful. Just ridiculous amounts of really dangerous monsters that were spawning. Just the balance was completely out of whack. And they never managed to fix it by the end of the league. It was just like a really painful league to, to play in. Because like you were basically died in like every ultimatum, it felt like. And some people's builds could totally do it. And I think if I was, if it was the same builds that I use today, I probably wouldn't. But that still doesn't help any of the other people who play the game who just have not obscenely expensive builds. So I'm happy they've been made a bit more reasonable. That is a lot of things on the other side of that door. Place all those down. You are going to do... All my totems, you're just going to deal with that, and I'm going to stand here. Be over there. I'm not going through the door before my totems. This is a pretty good song. I really like electronics. I'm happy I made the changes I did to the music that was playing. It's a lot more varied now, and it's not like the same stuff at the same time of every stream. I need to add more to it so that we can have more interesting playlist. Okay, where's something I can do? Value, high value, moderate, high. I really want something that's decently leveled. Yep, this is a high value and a precious, and both in the level 74 and 73, respectively. These will be good to work with. I have to say, detect evil is a cool function. Having the uh, uh, be able to having the um, mini map icons, it's cool. I think what would have been better is had I allocated coated blade instead, just so I can apply tinctures, because tinctures are more more valuable to me. Just straight up, they they have damage on them and utility that. Being able to see a rare will not, because regardless whether you can see it, you're still just going to fight it anyways. And if it doesn't help in the Wild Toad, which is the one place I need it, then I don't really need it. Ooh, fossils. I'll take fossils. Oh, I got Nanette. I didn't even notice that she brought Nanette along. That's good. I think I'm like six out of nine rogues now. I need to do a heist with Niles, probably. And I need to do a heist with Niles, and I think Nanette is the last in her line. So I would need to do... Who would get me Vendiri? I think the Karst line will get me Vendiri, so I need to go... Hmm. So Talina's from the Karst line, so I'm not sure. 
I think I legitimately am going to have to check my own video on how to unlock the heist rogues. <laughs> it's funny, but like ever since making that video of how to like quickly unlock all the heist rogues, I genuinely have referred to it at least once. What can I say? I made a rather useful resource. I'm happy about that. I was a lot worse at making videos back then, but I mean, you could you can say that about a month ago probably too. Yeah, you take out all that stuff. You done? Okay, cool. I don't want the essences, but I do want the monsters in there to be dead for XP. Cool. I don't think Nanette introduces anyone. Because I need to f find Vindiri so that I can find Gianna. And they're the only ones left I'm looking for. Who would introduce me to... Vindiri? Nanette doesn't have any... Or Isla doesn't have anyone in her line. It's only Tibbs and Karst. Karst introduced... Talina to me. Talina introduced Nanette. Uh, Tibbs introduced Huck, who introduced Niles. So either Niles or Nanette will unlock the next one. So Counterthaumaturgy, Deception, Perception, and Counterthaumaturgy. Okay. Uh, there's a Counterthaum and a Deception. The sooner you unlock more rogues, the better. Makes it easier to uh, do things. Plus, in blueprints, it means that you have more people with you. And the more people that you have with you, that means the more auras you can have on you from their equipment. More quality, more chests to open, more reduced alert level. Okay, so Niles introduces Vindiri, and then Vindiri introduces Gianna. Okay. Oh, I see a rare over there. I'll blow you up. I am good with things that give XP. Uh, okay, there's nothing really... There's no big reward chests I need, so I'm just going to go pick a bunch of small ones up. You've seen too much. If I hear the phrase, how convenient I needed a new corpse anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, go run the long way. Kill more shit. Hmm. 
Am I back near the start? No, I'm not at the start. I'm just near the start. Because it it snakes around. I was confused for a second. Okay, so I need to do probably a demolition with Vendary. Or an engineering. And then I'll have Gianna and I'll have the I'll be the last rogue I need. Oh, eternal. Gimme. I like to pick up all the eternal flasks I can because if you can transmute them and they get enduring on them uh, for mana or corrupted blood on them for life, then they're usually worth a couple chaos at the start of the league. One of the quick ways I make money. Nope. Actually, maybe. Maybe? Yes, enduring. Enduring with reduced mana cost. Oh, that's actually worth, like... At least 10 chaos because of the reduced mana. That's pretty good. Some glass are actually worth a lot of money, which is nice. Okay, that's a failure. Okay, I don't need the Counter Thom now, because I need Vendiri. Uh, so I need Demo, Trap, or NG. Engineer. Vendiri. And I'm going to swap on my starter... Oop, not that one. I'm going to swap to my starter loot filter again, because it doesn't seem to show a lot of the heist equipment on anything but, like, lower loot filters. And I need equipment for all of my heist characters right now. I'll just let it give me a bit more information than I need usually. Yeah, right there. Lanced arrowhead, need that. I'll get heist I'll get haste on someone. Dairy, don't stand in the acid if you don't want to be burned by the acid. Heartbreaker. Not viable. I'm just going to skip the other unique chest. Like, they're not worth picking up in general anyways. I just... As soon as I opened it, I was like, you know, there's no actual good reason for me to be here. Okay. No, you blow up. What's that? Oh, it's a five link. That is not useful anymore. Or past that point in the league.
This is only a tier 1, so I don't need to spend too much time killing stuff, but I am still trying to kill a bunch of stuff, because... 84, yeah, I need... I want to keep getting more XP. Oh, Silver Brooch, need that. Yeah, it, do it doesn't show anything but, like, the highest tier high stuff, even, in, like, in the lower levels of filters, so... I want to just keep my low filter on for a little bit. Uh, I, mm. I'll just sell the Heartbreaker. I'm not going to use it. And it's not worth anything. Okay, what can I do with these silver brooches? Give me an aura. Not purity of ice. Job speed, that's always good. Haste and cold damage. I can probably do a little bit better than level 5 haste. Level 5 grace. I don't know if I can get higher level auras on this, actually, because it is only item level 67, which is a little bit below where you want it to be. You know what, I'm just going to pick that. Put Grace on Tibbs. And then my brooch. Let's try to roll currency. Divination cards works too. Give cards and maps. Cool. Vendiri. Okay, so I have all the rogues now. That's good. Now I just need to actually outfit them and stuff, because boy, do I not have anything to outfit them in. Ella doesn't have level 2 engineering yet. Oh, Huck and Vendiri do, though. So you can have that. No, I think this is the I think it's the exact same set of stuff we had before, yeah. None of that's going to be useful. Uh, I can do the trap disarmament one. Because I have Isle at the right level for that. Oh, we got Breach, and we got two, two, trink whatever they're called, Talismans. That is so worthless. At least I can maybe get XP here, since this is level 74. Apparently I can't piss off things that are asleep, because 
My totems do not attack passive things. Except things like these. Come on. There we go. But like the the sentries right here, they just won't even attack. And I don't do any damage with my flame wall, so I can't piss them off either. Even if I curse them, it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, I know how you can piss them off. I can flame dash through them. Nope, because that also doesn't do damage. Because <laughs> I have Ancestral Bond, because I'm a totem build. Well, fine. I don't know why there's so many like visual errors with the weird door lasers, but that's a thing, I guess. Just open this door, damn it! You, there's no way you could have closed it in that time. Rude. Now everything's awake. And angry. I try to really get some XP from this particular one. Though we're not really seeing a whole lot of monsters right now. Really, we're missing a lot, actually. It'd be nice if some would kind of spawn. All we have is like little bits and pieces. There's a nice little pack right there. They like to really huddle up. Okay, now that's actually a reasonable amount of monsters. I guess the sentries tend to need to like pile up. And there's also these like middle areas which tend to be really good. Oh god, it's a soul eater mob. No. You suck. No! Ooh, damn it. I hate soul eater mobs. I should have just left him alone. There's also five other rares on the other side of that wall, too. I hate Soul Eater mobs. They're so dangerous. Okay, I'm going to try something. Because I heard something interesting during the initial li release live stream for this game. I'm going to see if it's true. Okay, so the the Wildwood Ascensies only take one point each to unallocate, rather than the standard five each for the standard Ascendancies. In that case, I can now use tinctures. Do I? Yes, I do have a tincture I can use. Throw that over here. Cool, I have a tincture now. Um, don't really know how they work, though. Go back to my hideout. Okay, so I can just turn it on or off. It is on now. That's interesting. My night chance doesn't go up here, even though. Oh, this isn't all. Uh, this isn't all damage ignites. All damage can ignite. Okay, so that just means that I always will have an ignite chance, even if I was like all cold damage or all lightning damage or whatever. So that is not useful to me. In that case, I want all damage can freeze. That would be good for me. Even though I do already have a chance to freeze from something. I don't have a chance to freeze anyways.
I just have fire and physical damage. I don't know where the cold damage is coming from. Weird. So I need flat cold to do this. To be able to freeze usually. Oh, there's a freeze chance there. But usually that only works if there's like actual flat damage. Hmm. Yeah, this just says it has a chance to ignite. It doesn't say anything about having a chance to freeze on it. Oh, it also says summons one totem when you use the skill, which is very much not true. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. How could it have a chance to freeze? I have, uh, that doesn't make any sense, because I have Avatar of Fire. I can't do cold damage, or lightning damage. Wait, can I do physical damage? No, I can't do physical damage either. It's all fire damage. So where's the chance to freeze and shock coming from? Oh, there's a chill effect from the Skitterbots, but Skitterbots isn't even on right now, so that's not that's not it. I have no idea why I have a chance to freeze. Cannot I cannot see in any way what could give me a chance to freeze. This makes me think that this is just wrong. I don't even have any of my auras on. Yeah, I don't understand why that's like that. That's really weird. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that it's this node right here. But let me let me cheat the system a little bit. Grab that point. Put that point up there. Okay, taking that off. 10% chance to freeze. Where's that? Oh! It's going from Holy Dominion. That's where it's from. Okay. Okay. But that should just be overridden. By the fact I have... Avatar of Fire. I thought that meant you can't freeze or shock. The fuck? <laughs> I I don't know what's going on. Whatever. I guess this just means all all damage has ten percent chance to freeze shock and ignite. All damage has ten fifteen percent chance to freeze shock and ignite. Yeah, duration is based on cold damage from the hit. So I assume it's just, just damage from the hit in that case, which would be fire. So fire damage, which would be a lot. Weird. This game is very weird. Honestly, I would prefer not to use Avatar Fire if I could avoid it. Theoretically... Theoretically, instead of uh, the damage against ignited enemies, I could go for the uh, physical damage converted to fire damage. But I'm still leaving a bunch of damage on the table with uh, the 50% conversion from Avatar of Fire versus 40% from here. And also, I can't use the other mastery that I'm using right now. So there's that too. Yeah, I have no idea. 
Whatever, I'll figure it out over time. I'm excited to have a tincture finally. That's gonna be cool. And since I'm using Battle Mage, uh, this applies tinctures apply to your weapon, and my weapon. I mean, I have Battle Mage on my weapon, so that should be that should work. Unless it doesn't work the way I think it does, and then I'm just wasting a flash slot, but we'll see. Okay, we're about almost two and a half hours into the stream, so I want to, uh, I think I'm going to call it here. For everyone who's watching on YouTube, thank you. If you could remember to like, comment, and subscribe, you can see some more cool videos. And if you comment, you might be able to uh, give me some ideas for future videos, and I could make your ideas come true. <laughs> so thank you.